G'day viewers, uh, before I start this next video, <clears throat> I just want to point some things out. Um, a guy in uh, commented on one of my videos. Um, I just let it be said that I don't mind constructive criticism. I don't mind negative criticism if it's constructive, if I can learn something from it. And if above all the person knows what they're talking about. But Mike, you're a clown, okay? Uh, he said a few things which were totally uncalled for. Firstly, calling me a crackhead. Dude, I'm not into drugs. Um, I'm not saying you know, anything bad about people who are, but I'm not. I thoroughly enjoy what I do. Prospecting, forward driving, camping, doing gold. I live, breathe and eat gold. Uh, I don't need any sort of stimulants. Um, secondly, telling me that my workspace is atrocious. Okay, the table is cluttered. It's organized clutter. Most of what's on the table is just stored. Um, I only very use the very edge of it and uh, it works for me. Everything's organized where I need it. Um, so anyone who thinks that uh, that I should clean up my table. Well, good on you. Uh, he also tried saying that my beakers are dirty and I would get a better result and more, more gold return if I clean my beakers. Well, if I'm going to do a nitric bath um, or a HCL bath, yeah, I might just reach for the nearest beaker that's empty. But I always, and I've even said this in my videos, I always use a clean beaker when refining gold, when dropping gold. So it wouldn't have made any difference to the quantity of gold I got. The other thing is, quite often my beakers are clean, but they're stained. So I have this beaker and show you. I've just washed this beaker, and as you can see, there's marks all over it. Okay. Quite often, this white paint here comes off and it winds up smearing all over the beakers. Now, I've just washed these in boiling hot water. This here has been stained on the bottom. It's been scratched up from using the, um, the stick mixer for doing silver conversions. Um, the white seems to get all over them. I don't know how to clean these any better. You can see there the whites come off the paint and it just leaves these grotty marks all over them. So my beakers do get cleaned, even if they don't look like it. Okay? So to all you people out there like Mike, who think you know better, if you've got nothing decent to say, don't say anything at all. If you've got something that I can learn from and others can learn from and you can be tactful about it without being an ass, by all means, say something. All right, rant over. G'day viewers, welcome back to another video. We're doing some silver today. I'm going to show you how to remove the gold, sorry, the silver from keyboard mylars with nitric acid. I've already showed you uh, x-rays with bleach uh, I've, tried, I've showed you CDs with I think it was salt and vinegar so now I'm going to do some uh, egg, some mylars well let me show you what I've got to go through as well as the mylars a drawer full these are deep drawers full of CDs and at the bottom of that is some x-rays Plus I've got this ton of x-rays. I mean, I've chopped up a massive pile and this is so thick. You've got no idea how many x-rays are here. Probably in excess of 100. And these CDs, like look at them all. I can't even fit anything else in there. It's, the drawer's about closed. That's about all I can get. So they're gonna take me a while. And there's all the mylars. I have no idea how many is here. I do so many computers. Um, I've, I've lost count of how many mylars there are. And so I've got some 
nitric acid in distilled water. Now, I have to confess, I've done one already because I originally had just cool water with nitric acid and I started making a video and nothing came off. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't work out what's going on. So I poured some into another container. So I had half a beaker and then I topped it up with hot distilled water, knowing that acids work better with heat. And so I put one in there to test it. And as you can see, there's a silver solution there now. Um, this has only got the little white dots and the white traces, which I usually left behind. The silver is more of a tan looking color. You know, get this off with one hand. See how it's like a, I don't know if it shows up on the camera, it's more like a tan color. And once that comes off, you're left with just the white. So if I put this in here, I'll just do a half so I can show you as a reference. Shouldn't take very long at all. Now I'm doing this inside, but there's no fumes coming off this nitric acid. Um, if I had it on a hot plate and put things like copper in there, it would give off all the nasty fumes. But so far, I've been pretty lucky. Um, there's nothing really happening in the way of fumes. Um, I can't go outside because I'm not well, so I don't want to go out in the weather. I'm trying to find things that I can do inside. And uh, for as long as there's no fumes, I'll be fine. Otherwise, if it does start fuming up, I'm going to have to take it outside. But to show you, I'm hoping this is going to show you. I'm just going to rinse it off with some water. This here is distilled water as well. Let's see if you can see the difference. See how that's just white? And then over here it's like a tan colour. It's not really showing up on the camera. I don't understand why, but trust me, it's coming off. I'll put it back in there for a bit longer. It really would help if this was hotter. Um, I should have only used hot water and nitric because I had it full of cold water and nitric and then I reduced it by half. Half of it still got cold water and nitric. But that's nice and warm now. So it's going to probably just take a little bit more time sitting in there. I might just push this all the way in and just let it sit there for a bit. You do want to use gloves because nitric acid is not good to get on your fingers. Um, at the very least, apart from whatever skin problems it may cause and burning if not anything else, um, silver leaves a nice stain on your fingers. It'll be there for a week at least. It's pretty hard to get the silver stain off, but you really don't want to be putting your hands in nitric acid without gloves. So uh, please, guys, if you're going to be using nitric acid, be safe. Um, so this might take me a while. If it's not going to work well this way, I may have to go outside and put it on a hot plate and do it that way. But we'll see. Okay, so it took just a couple of minutes. And you can see now there's a, just left of the white dots. There's no tan colour or whatever colour you want to say it is. It's just uh, just the tracings of where the, the lines used to be. See how it's got the white lines on there? So that's all it is. Um, because it's not on heat, it did take just a few minutes. So there's another one. You can see all the silver on there. And I'll poke it in, get it all mixed up in the solution. I probably should do them another way around and curl them up. I'll try that one next. I'll coil it up in a, in a roll and put it in. You just want to make sure that the solution gets to all of it. Yeah, I'll just leave it in there for a few minutes. This is real time. I uh, I, don't, I don't know how many videos there are out there of mylars in nitric acid. I guess there's probably one or two. Um, I'm always trying to find new videos 
I don't really want to do the same thing all the time as what everyone else does. Um, while I'm waiting for that, I've got my little, oh, I don't even know what you'd call those. They're starting to mount up. And my inner gold strips are starting to mount up. It's going to take me a long time, I think, waiting for this. I may have to just go back out and do it on heat. It's still on there, so it's going to take a little while. And maybe I diluted it too much as well. I don't know. But at the end of this video, when we collect all the silver, I've got a surprise for you. Um, most of you guys would have been led to believe that you need to do a silver conversion. Well, I'll be showing you a totally different way. So I'm starting to lose my voice. Uh, excuse me if it cuts out. Oh. So I'll just give this a few minutes. Where's it going? It's going down too deep. There it is. Yeah, it's going to take a little while. Oh, I'll let that sit for a while. All right, so I should have left it going real time because it was literally no more than a minute, two minutes at best. And look at that. There's no tan left on it. Let's see if I can get it in the light so you can see. See, it's just the tracings from where it used to be. So I dip it in the water. Get sort of the nitric acid, nitric acid off. And chuck it out and get the next one. This one's got a nice dark section on there. So we'll see when that comes off. I might try and coil this one up. I had to do one handed while I'm trying to hold the camera, but there we go. I think I'm getting there. There we go. So that's coiled up and it's going to sit in there nicely. I don't know how well it's going to do with it sitting against the glass. It might need to be away from the glass a bit. Let's see if I can just hold it away from the glass. So the water's not too warm as you can see. Probably would be better if it was hot water. Um, I don't have any plastic tongs and I don't want to use metal tongs of any sort because I don't know if it's going to react or impair the, the outcome. But um, if it was really, really hot water, uh, nitric acid works well best with a lot of heat. So probably be instant if I had heat. But I'm guessing the warm water is better than cold, so let's see how this goes. No, it's going to take a little while, I think. It's got a very thick coating on this one. There might even just be dark traces at the end, I don't know. You'll be able to tell if they're tan coloured. You be, you can see when you look at these on an angle, the silver. And when that's gone, it'll just be the traces. You'll be able to see for sure. So let's give it a few more minutes. Last time, no sooner I turned the camera off, but he showed up again. It was gone, so let's give it a bit longer. I've got a feeling it's just going to leave dark tracing. Some of them probably have darker tracing than others. Yeah, see, this is black lines. So the, the silver itself has gone. It's just instead of the white lines, they're black. That's all that is. So there you go. That was real time. It didn't take long. Just giving this a rinse off in the water. Let's throw it out. So we'll do another one. Because obviously you're not going to want to watch me do all of them. Let's see if I can show you the tan colour. See how it's like a fawny coloured um, colour. So I'll put this in. Make sure it's all coated like that. Yeah, the other one was, I hadn't seen them with black on them before. I thought it was a very thick coating of silver. So now I know that they're black or white. So 
Just give it a few more minutes. And there's no bad fumes coming off this at all. Um, I thought I would have to take it outside and do it. Um, I've only ever seen the really bad fumes come off nitric acid when you're doing copper or uh, gold and so on, but with the silver it doesn't seem to be doing it. Um, probably because it's not on a hot plate and getting really hot, I don't know. But uh, if it does start fuming up, I'll go outside for sure. So this is another one with black lines by the looks of it. Yep. So you can see that that fawny colour's gone. So I don't know if it's fawn or beige or whatever it looks like on the camera. It looks different to in person. So... They probably didn't even take that long. It's just I thought the black was still silver, so rinse it off, chuck it out. I'll see if I can find a white one, because they're easy to tell. There's a white one, I think. Yeah, that'll, that'll show up white, I'm sure. So, we'll try this one. I definitely think the uh, chlorine or bleach was uh, nice and fast when I did the x-rays. But uh, this isn't too bad. Certainly the recovery using nitric acid is going to be a lot, a lot better than when I did the bleach. Um, you had to wait for all the gold to set, uh, the silver to settle at the bottom and filter it all. and It was, it was a pain. Whereas when you're using nitric acid, it's so much easier to recover at the end. So that looks like it's still on there. And I guess as I do these, the nitric will be getting used up, so it'll probably take a little bit longer for them to be done when it starts to be used up a bit. We may have to put some more in there soon. There's not much room in there. I don't want to dilute it too much. Yeah, it's still in the side. It's going to have to sit for a little while. So you get the gist anyway. I'll go through this. Um, we've got a pile of them to do, so I'll get through all these. And uh, once I've got all of them done, then I'll come back for the next stage. Because this will be pretty boring to sit here and watch me do this all night. I've got a second beaker going, just to speed things up a little bit. Um, I'm getting through these. I've done quite a few now. And what I've discovered, which will help you guys if you're doing this, is you can rub it and feel the back side under here is all smooth. And here you can feel just an ever so slight roughness, which is the silver coating. You rub, rub your hand that way and you can feel it. Actually, it's the other way. I picked it up wrong. Yeah, so this has definitely got the silver on this side. So what I'm going to do is I coil it up with the silver on the inside. That way it doesn't rest against the glass and not get chemicals to it. So I'll coil it up like that. And then lower it in the beaker. I've already got some in there at the moment. So just check before you're doing it to make sure you're not having the silver on the outside and then pressed up against the glass and not getting any chemicals to it. And, uh, because it's uh, cold, it's not happening very fast. But that's okay, I'm sitting here watching TV and just letting it do its thing. I've got all day. Um, I'm getting through them, but there's not a whole lot left. Probably, I don't know, another 20 or 30, something like that. We'll see. 
All right, so I'm almost finished, finally. Uh, just put those two in, and there's two more left, one for each beaker. Um, it looks, when you when you look at it, like there's still some silver on there. But when you feel it, you can see it's definitely gone if you, from when you felt it before, and then feel it now. If you're concerned that there's still silver there, what you could do, or even if you didn't want to do this whole procedure, what you could do from the very start is just pyrolyze all these. Um, put them in a tin and burn them to, to ash and then treat it that way and you'll get every single bit of silver that's on there. Now, I'm convinced that all the silver's come off, but I, I don't know because those traces that are there, they don't normally, they're not normally that prominent. But I've got so much as you've seen, all my x-rays and CDs, so... Uh, I'm happy with whatever's come off. Um, probably would have been better using some heat, but it is what it is. I don't have that ability at the moment unless I go outside. I'm just trying to get rid of this flu, whatever it is I got, so I'm staying inside. So they'll come out in a few minutes and get rinsed off, and I'll put these last two in, and then on to the next step. Okay, the next step in the procedure from here is to filter out all that residue. Now, this one that's settled, but this one, you see, I've just stirred it up. And there's also a lot in the wash water. Now, I have no idea what the sediment is. I don't know how anything could come off mylar, but I know it's not silver, because the silver would be dissolved into solution. Although the, the filter will be put in my paper storage anyway, just in case. The only thing I've got to uh, big enough to be able to filter all this into is my flask that I use for my gold washers. And if you're new to my channel and you don't know what I'm talking about, you'll see when you watch other videos that I pour my wash water off into a large flask. Now this is the flask. And if Mike, you're watching, I'm washing it. Um, the problem is, because it's a narrow neck, I can't get my hands inside it. And my advice to anybody buying a flask buy a wide mouth flask that you can get your hands inside with a scour and clean them. Now what this has had inside it is some special tablets that you put in there and they dissolve and cause bubbles that come up and it's supposed to clean. You can see the, uh, the foam on there. That's the best I can do. I've tried bottle brushes and all kinds of things. Um, I, I cannot find anything that actually really gets it nice and clean on the inside. And then from here I can wash the outside as best I can, but this will still look stained dirty when, when I've cleaned it. So just to prove to you guys I'm cleaning it first as best I can. So once that's clean, I'll start the filter process. Alright, so the flask is now set up. You can see I've cleaned it as best I can, but there are still these white marks on there. All around it, I don't know. You see down here, it looks like it's all dirty. It's the best I can do. I've got the funnel on there now, so I'm going to start filtering the solution. Well, I'm glad I did put the salt water in first because, as you can see, I'm slowly running out of room. And it seems that the sediment was silver because when daylight got to it, it's gone purple. I don't know how well it's showing up on the camera, but it's very purple. So that will all be caught in the filter and will be burnt as well. I was going to put it in paper storage, but if that's silver, I'll just melt it in the filter. I'm waiting for all this to settle. And I'm going to have to run the rest of it into that beaker, which I've just finished pouring into here. Uh, put the filter on top and I'll pour this into that. And when that's nearly full, I'll tip the rest of that into here so that I can pour that into there and then put what's in there into this one. Confusing, but I've got it all sorted. Okay, so I'm going to use this uh, beaker to pour this uh, filtered solution into. It is clean, Mike, in case you're watching. It is heavily scratched up from using the uh, mixer in there to do con silver conversions. And as I told you before, they get s stained. 
it's been washed and this is what a lot of my glassware looks like um, you can see the solution in there has gone purple the sediment so it's definitely silver that has fallen out of solution I couldn't tell you why um, when it comes to silver I am not as experienced as I am with gold so a lot of this I'm winging learning as I go um, I'm probably doing more work than I need to because I'm filtering out the sediment and then I'm converting it and then having to filter that as well I know that I could just convert it now and filter it once but I feel this is the way I need to go I don't know so I'm going to be capturing all that in the filter and then converting it and filtering it again if that's not right that's just too bad that's how I'm going to do it so I need space to put this filtered solution and I'm going to put it into here so it is clean for those who want to complain so as you can see it's coming through crystal clear and once I've finished filtering it all I'll know if I've got all the silver when I put some more salt water in there you can just put the salt on its own but I would prefer to know that anything in the bottom of the beaker is actually silver not salt not undissolved salt uh, I like to dissolve it first um, make sure you use distilled water uh, so yeah I'll just finish filtering all this and then as well as that big flask which I finished yesterday and see if I've got it all so I needed this uh, crucible and it's the only one I got uh, I'm waiting for more to arrive this one's been used for silver before and I had to melt the gold powder that was in there so there it is here and you can see it's got silver on it because of what was in the crucible but that's okay because I'll uh, use that for another video there's uh, quite a bit of silver on it Let's see if I can turn it over it doesn't matter so um, now the crucible is nice and clean and I will melt that while I wait for all this to filter the solution that was in the filter uh, the flask outside is now in this beaker um, the remainder because it had all settled uh, the clear liquid on top has been drained and tested for sh uh, silver all the silver has been removed so that liquid has now gone in my stock pot but when I got down towards the bottom it all stirred up so that's what this is here and as you can see it's purple from being out in the sunlight that's uh, uh, a perfect indicator of it being silver compared to this so now I'll let that settle again and I'll f continue f filtering this and then I'll start on that the flask has actually been cleaned uh, with tap water and as I can't get inside it to wipe it out I've got it draining upside down once it is finished completely drying I'll rinse it out with distilled water so that I can pour this into it I was going to put all this into that beaker but now my flask is back I'll be able to put all this liquid into the flask so I'll put this into the flask when it's fit finished keep doing this and then I'll start on this one so the second filter is finished and I've almost run out of gas in my matte gas torch so I'm going to save the last of it for the actual melting all I'm doing at the moment is burning all the filter and reducing everything down with my little micro torch now this is supposed to be hot enough to melt gold uh, I don't believe so but that's what they reckon so if I do run out of matte gas completely I'll have to try and finish it with this but for now I can just go melt all the, uh, burn all the paper off and um, reduce it all down to as small as possible and uh, see see what I can do um, since the silver melts at a lower temperature than gold hopefully this will be alright it's going to be another week or so before I can afford to get some more matte gas um, I just should do what I can with this but uh, what's in this beaker is the last one to go 
and I've got a filter happening here that's going to catch the last of the silver and that'll be the last um, last filter I need to burn so we'll do this one and then that one and then I'll be able to weigh it all up and see what I've got out of all the mylar okay finally that's the last of it in the filter that's all the purple dust and once that's through I'll put some salt water in there see if there's any more and this can be dried up and melted okay time to put this in the crucible and melt it up okay I made up a small batch of salty water because I don't need to put a lot in there all I need to do is establish if I've got it all if uh, there's more in there then I'll make up a big batch but at the moment I just need to see so I'm pouring salt water in there and nothing's happening so clearly I've got it all that's it no change so that's all the silver and I'll get the scales ready because I've melted it as I was melting the silver my crucible broke it just uh, fell to pieces on me luckily I got all the silver off all right so I'll turn it on and here we go one piece two and some and some tiny pieces pretty hard to pick them up they're so small right, give me a sec well the tiniest little piece fell on the floor and it's mixed in with the carpet somewhere and I can't find it but it was such a small amount such a tiny little piece so basically we've got 1.7 grams of silver from all those computer mylars. So um, I hope you guys learnt something from this. You don't need to do the conversions. And I've also got some silver outside which I precipitated by putting hydrochloric acid in. And I've done exactly the same thing with that silver. I just dried it out and melted it. So in case anyone says, oh, but this is different because it was precipitated with salt, I do the same thing no matter how I precipitate it. So the jury's out whether or not you think you need to do a conversion. It's my opinion that you don't. Uh, for the purists who uh, want to be pedantic and um, go for purity or go for... Uh, yield then that's that's good for you but this is much easier and a lot less effort a lot less cost no need to buy the the lie and just it's just all around easier i'd rather just do it this way so thanks for watching and i hope to see you on the next one bye